Hi guys, happy August. Uh, wanted to bring you my favorite beauty products of the past month, and it just so happens that pretty much all of them are makeup. So the first two makeup items that I have been obsessing with are both from Chanel, and they're both eyeshadow quads. Um, it's the Les Quatre Ombres um, Multi-Effect Quadra Eyeshadow. So you can see here these four little shades. Um, there is like a taupe, a peach, a darker brown, and then a champagne color. The other one is like kind of an emerald blue. Is that emerald? I would say it's uh, like a turquoise. Anyhow, a turquoise, a darker green, um, and then a silver and another sort of bright pearlescent um, champagne-y shade. The reason I love these Chanel um, makeup quads so much is the pigment is really, really rich. Um, and it gives you a lot of color payoff. So a lot of times when you are working with a really expensive makeup brand like Chanel, all you're paying for is the name. You're paying for the name and the marketing and the packaging. Um, and that's not the case with these eyeshadows. Um, they're pretty expensive, they're like $60. Um, but over the years, my various Chanel quads have lasted me for so long and they've been the go-to items in my makeup bag. So if you are looking for a really great kind of investment makeup piece, um, I would highly, highly recommend the new Chanel quads. Um, they come in a variety of colors. They're all super pretty and pearlescent and iridescent. Um, and I just, I love them all so much. Next up in the world of eyeshadow is a little trio from NARS. It's the Narcissist uh, Smoky Eye Set. So it's three different shades, as you can see here, that are designed to help you perfectly get a smoky eye. Um, smoky eyes are my absolute favorite. Um, you know, the older I get, the more I get kind of lazy when it comes to putting on makeup. Um, but if I am putting in the effort and, you know, walking out of the house and trying to look semi-decent, I'll use like basic smoky eye principles. So having, you know, sort of like a little lighter color up here, something in the crease, and then a much darker um, shade along the, uh, along the lid. I'm not feeling very articulate today, anyhow. Um, so yeah, these three shades, as you can see, are just super pretty. I mean, this in particular, I'm really digging this one because um, it has a lot of uh, shimmer in it. Um, and uh, I use makeup brushes with these, but I really prefer using my fingers when I'm doing my eyeshadow. I feel like it helps you blend so much easier. And so as you can see, there's like a little <laughs> finger mark right there. Next up is a mascara from one of my all-time favorite beauty brands, and that is Lancome. This is the new Lancome Grandiose Mascara. And if you haven't heard about this yet, because it launches, I think, like tomorrow or next week, um, this is like a game changer mascara. So the wand is curved and basically it's designed so that you're able to get every last little hair on your lashes. Um, I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can see it because I put it on several hours ago and my makeup might be terrifying right now. Um, but it is a really, really awesome mascara. Lancome pretty much makes the best mascaras in the business um, and the secret is in the wand and in the wand technology. Grandiose is, I think, the best Lancome mascara that I've used in a very long time, so I do definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend checking it out, um, and uh, I've been very pleasantly surprised with it so far. Moving right along on the makeup train, um, there are two little uh, eyeliner pencils that I've been loving, and they're both from Shu Amora. They're drawing pencils. Um, these are both uh, in sort of greenish, greenish shades, as you can see. Um, this particular one is, let's see what that color is. It's green black. And then this one is, I believe, just plain old green. Yeah, it's just green. And so you can see what it looks like, the green, when you rub it on your hand. And then what the greenish black looks like. 
of greenish kind of hazel eyes and I really like using little pops of color like that to, to complement my eyes and to bring them out and so that's why I think that these are really cool. What you can do if you're looking for a little bit of extra color is you can apply your eyeliner um, in black or in brown as normal and then you can use a colored liner like that just either along the edges or along the inner corner or a really thin rim all the way tracing the line of the black and that little bit of extra color will really help your eyes pop and give it some pretty little dazzle. Okay, then I feel like I've been giving Hourglass a lot of love recently, but it's because they're an amazing brand and I think that their products are so high quality. So this is their ambient lighting palette, which I've written about a couple of times. Um, I think you can see the little reflection of the uh, camera there. Um, anyhow, so it's three different little uh, iridescent shades. You take a big fluffy brush, you sweep them all over your face, um, and it just gives you a really pretty pearlescent sheen. I find that that's usually the very last step of my makeup that I do. It's like the finishing touch. Um, and inevitably, it's like having a photo, like having a Photoshop filter for your face. When I use it, and then I see myself in photos afterward, it's that little like je ne sais quoi that you can't put your finger on that makes the photo look that much better and that much prettier. Okay, the last uh, makeup item is from CoverGirl. I feel like there's been a lot of department store high-end stuff going on, um, and this CoverGirl lipstick, uh, or lip gloss, is actually what I have on right now. Um, and it's just an orangey kind of tangerine shade. Um, what is the color called? Boop, boop, boop. It is uh, Succulent Citrus, um, and I just really like it. You know, it's like a great kind of fun, summery, you know, peachy, beachy color. Um, I think it's a great value for being at the drugstore, and then as you can see, it's just a lot of fun. And it comes in a variety of shades, but the one that I'm gravitating toward right now is the orange. Okay, and then the very last item I have been loving this month, it's not quite makeup, but it sort of is. Um, it's from Jane Iredale, and it's the Powder Me SPF. Um, those of you that have followed me know that I am a huge Bare Minerals fan, and I have been addicted to Bare Minerals for years, so it's almost sacrilegious for me to be going outside of the Bare Minerals family, but um, Jane Iredale, when I heard about this product, which is basically a powder SPF that's completely translucent, I was like, aha, that's genius. Um, and it has a little mirror on the top, as you can see, which is very dirty. Um, but basically, it uses titanium dioxide, that is it. It's a clear translucent powder, and it provides you with SPF 30 um, so that you can, you know, on days when I don't feel like putting on a liquid sunscreen or when I was in Miami recently and it was pretty hot outside and I felt like extra liquid would make me greasy, or if I just want to reapply a little bit of sunscreen on my hands, or if you don't want to mess up your makeup because obviously you're supposed to reapply every two hours, and let's be real, who does that? Um, but you need a little bit of extra protection because you don't want to burn, this stuff is a lifesaver. You literally just powder it on and you have your extra sun protection. My only complaint about it is that as you can see it's a little bit messy um, but it's very easy and since I do actually have a ton of makeup on I'm not gonna put that all over my face because then I'll get my blush all over it but it's really easy to reapply and you can do it on your neck or on like I said your arms or your hands or your forehead or your ears or whatever you want um, and it's just a really clever way to make sure that you can keep your sunscreen reapplied throughout the day without having to wash your face all over again and get rid of all your makeup. And as always you can find me on Instagram at Nadine Jolie Courtney. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Nadine Courtney or you can find me on my website at NadineJolieCourtney.com. Um, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!